Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And for you in particular, this is a month that I actually spoke about in the 2019 year ahead horoscope for you. It is a defining moment. And of all the months out there, this is probably going to be the one that stands out most. It is eclipse season, but not only that, we are going to have an eclipse in your opposite sign and in your sign as well. Now I have seen people go through powerful changes with a sky like this. And that's what this month says to me. In some way, you will be deeply transformed. When you get to the end of the month, you will realize that you are no longer the same, that you are different in some significant way. For some, this is going to be about interrupting powerful patterns that have been there for a while. Maybe habits can go through changes as well. For others, it's about realizing. It's the realization of whom you have become or what you have done and where it is that there is a disconnect between who you know yourself to be and the way you see yourself and some other situation, some action that you are taking. Well, this is going to allow you to start to build a sense of integration, start to get more honest with yourself and to truly step into some truth about yourself that you hadn't seen possibly ever before. And I have seen people go through all kinds of big changes externally, certainly, but it really is also about what's happening on the more spiritual level that matters as well. So let's start with that solar eclipse in the early part of the month. It is happening in your opposite sign. Another person is going to be key at this time. Now for some, this is going to be a business alliance, a professional partnership perhaps. But for others, this may very well be related to a romantic alliance or a situation or even attraction. New people can find you now to align with, and it can also represent established bonds. While this eclipse is going to be standing across the sky from Saturn and speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune, a day after the eclipse, Venus moves into the same part of the sky. This is a Mercury retrograde month. Part of that Mercury retrograde will be spent with Mercury retro in your opposite sign. So you can see here, again, other people are represented by your opposite sign and they are going to take much focus. Now for some, this can be a sense of new people coming in. With that connection to Saturn, it may feel as if there's a need to practice some restraint. Now, in some cases, part of what facilitates a a new beginning or a new understanding, or yes, the need for new people, is some power struggle that could take place. So this is something to be mindful of. But we have that beautiful connection with Neptune that tells me that you are filled with hope. There's a sincere sense of what is possible for you and a desire for things to go in a more idealistic direction. And it is at this time, depending on the person that you attract or the situation that you attract into your life, that will end up facilitating the more important realization about yourself that is coming at the lunar eclipse, which is taking place right around the 18th of the month. That really is a standout moment for you when I look at the course of the year. It is this eclipse that's happening close to Saturn. The South Node and Pluto are not far away as well. This configuration is one that is concentrated and it is one of intense emotion and transformation. And this is energy that you are holding, represented by you because this is all happening in your sign. This is a time of some powerful closure that is set to take place. Now, whether it is that you realize some behavior, some situation, some person even has served their purpose in your life, well, that can be part of what feels uh, so emotionally intense. But as part of this, as I said, your behavior could change. Some light bulb could go on for you. But the key really is to feel it, but also to be kind in the process. 
This configuration will be speaking in harmony with Neptune. That's going to allow you to summon compassion and a willingness to put in whatever work or to focus your mind at least towards how it is that the changes that are happening now are good. Their time truly has come. And it is you that is stepping into a more inspired version of yourself, a more healed version of yourself. But in order to get there, you may have to look at some pretty intense emotions. I think I've said that like this is the third time already because yes, chances are this is going to be one of those times where it will be through the feelings that you come to your own truth. Whatever it is, know that you are ready. You are ready for this transformation. You are ready for this moment of truth about yourself and you are ready to be whom it is that you have already been preparing to be for a very long time. You're stepping into a new identity, a new role that matters deeply to you, heart and soul. And this really represents a new you. And that makes it truly special. Now, where it comes to matters of love, as I've already talked about quite a bit with that first solar eclipse, well, it may very well be another person romantically that is part of the realizations you have about yourself. If you're open to meeting someone new, look, a solar eclipse in your opposite sign, someone will show up to help you to see where you are in love and why and how you really feel about it. You are gonna get a chance to understand yourself more deeply as a result of somebody coming in. For those of you who are just getting to know somebody, well, this is a real moment of truth as well. Like there's a lot of hope, which is great. There's that belief, but what is it that is stirred within you? What is it that really is going on here between you and your intention and them and their intention? Well, that is going to start to become more clear where there's a disconnect with that as you navigate closer to that lunar eclipse. And for those of you who are in an established bond in some way, this month represents a fresh start for the two of you, a brand new chapter. And it's not always what you think. That's the thing about eclipses. Sometimes they uh, come by surprise. And so what I mean by that is uh, you may think that this is about your partner being different in some way or showing you something of themselves, but it actually might be you. It is very possible that there's some situation, uh, some ongoing matter between the two of you, and this month represents a moment of honesty as to your role in this and how it is that if you are willing to change, the dynamic or the love that the two of you share can change and grow stronger. Regardless of what happens with another person, remember these eclipses are not only in your opposite sign. It isn't only about what's happening with another person. It's about you as well. With Mercury retrograde spending part of the time in your opposite sign, breakups that happen at this time tend to not stay broken up. So that is something to keep in mind as well. But what is also really exciting about this time is that you get to some truth. And it is truth that empowers that gets you to the essence of what really matters and in some key way frees you, frees you from the concern of the weight of the uncertainty of the past. Because if it is that you have yourself, you have everything. And that is part of what I love about this month for you. I love that this is eclipse month. It is an incredibly important time for you. It is karmic, like on a soul level, you are ready for the changes, the people, places, and things that go through a transformation now. You are ready for it because it represents a changed you, a better you than you realized you'd already become. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.